Hello Collective, this is Rastago, aka Angelic Empress. Welcome you to my channel. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, definitely do so down below and the notification bell so you know when I drop tarot card reading, messages of inspiration, my cluster and hit messages, dreams and downloads to help guide you in your own life collective. I use my personal experiences to relate with the collective and, you know, for you to also relate to me. I thought led to do a tarot card reading. Um, the cards already has been cleansed. Okay. I'm going to be using um, two oracles as well as tarot today. I uh, just want to touch bases on the, uh, the collective energies. Um, this would be a message for anybody that needs to hear this. Okay, just let it resonate. And if it doesn't, you can check other messages down below. Let my messages heal you overall. Okay, we're about to begin. I'll just pick a few from each deck. Grab your teas, mm -hmm. coffees, whatever have you. <clears throat> Let the adventure begin. Hope everyone's doing okay. Happy Labor Day to the collective. All right, we're about to go ahead and get started. I'm going to ring my bell three times. Grab my Himalayan bowl in behind. Turn down the volume. If you do have it up, I'm going to go ahead and tap it three times to begin. Okay. Collective. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and grab from my Dreams of Gaia. I'm going to go ahead and interpret my cards, and then I'll read uh, the meanings in the book. Um, this card looks like masks are coming off. My gosh. Um, it's showing an angel. It's showing her mask that she tends to wear to show the world. Mm -hmm. But it also looked like Intuitively, she's either seeing behind a veil or she needs to see behind a veil or use more of her discernment and intuition to guide her. I see uh, dragonflies, mm -hmm. two dragonflies, and that's usually a spiritual um, guide directing and I'm gonna have to look up that meaning in a bit with dragonflies. I see some feathers so definitely a lot of angelic presence around this earth angel pretty much. There's two. It has a face she's cloaked with covering her eyes so yes it's to me it's showing that she's Stepping back, possibly using her discernment and intuition. Mm -hmm. She's being led by spirit. Beautiful. And in the background, I'm seeing it like it's like a starry type of night. The stars in the sky. But I'm also seeing thunder. Mm -hmm. This is kind of relating to my message collective I dropped recently. You can go check that down below on being the calm in the midst of your storms. This is what this is pretty much showing me. Let me see if I can, yeah. This is what it looks like. I'm trying to bring it closer. You see the thunderstorms in the back there, the stars as well. So that's ancestral realms watching over this angelic being protecting her or him okay but I do see thunder in the back mm-hmm thunder God 
could be protecting her. And you see this face here, this mask of being calm. Mm -hmm. Or she's showing vulnerability. It's a lot to this card. My gosh, I can keep going. <laughs> okay, let's pull another one. Wow. Wow, this is beautiful. Beautiful woman sitting on her throne. This could be the Empress because I see a belly here. Wow, a turtle. I just removed my turtle from my my um <laughs> my table here. You see the turtle here off to your left? Wow. Mushrooms, definitely a angelic sign there. Mm -hmm. I see a pentacle on top of her, her wand. This definitely is an earth goddess. This could represent again the empress. This turtle is reminding me slow and steady wins the race. You have to be patient. You can't rush this process to experience growth, to experience the abundance, to be on your throne. You have to enjoy and embrace each and every moment that Mother Gaia is giving you, Mother Gaia is surrounding you with, collective, and you see she's outside, so she's embracing nature by the trees, by the elders, by, here's another sign there up above, a lot of signs while they sit on their throne, mm -hmm. made out of wood. This is beautiful. This can go for a male or a female. This is all energy collective. Beautiful. Let me go and pull one more. Ooh, this one's powerful. They all are, but definitely <clears throat> dragon. Mm hmm Definitely an entity guarding this person behind. Looks like they are caring for the animals. They're caring for what's in front of them, and they're nurturing. This person looks like they're abundant. Mm-hmm. See the rabbit? Mm. Blessings and abundance. <coughs> mm, excuse me. Wow, look at the rainbow there behind the background. Definitely astral realms. Mm -hmm. Is watching and protecting. His ancestors are watching and protecting this individual and they're covered in purple so the crown i see a tattoo on the face on the right side as well as on the right arm definitely a lot of symbolism here and there's symbolism tattooed on the dragon beautiful powerful card here Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and read what the cards I picked up and give you also the um, card meaning as in the uh, elements. Okay. So the elements that we're working on, I checked my book. It's called Dreams of Gaia Tarot. Cute mini book. So the first card I picked is of the element of air, five of air, okay? It says the key words for that is illusion, reality, separation, self-sabotage, 
self-deception, criticism, conditioning, and healing. Wow, collective. Everything I mentioned, you know, I usually show these cards for you to interpret this yourself. It says a conflict between reality and belief, a time for honesty, let go of illusion and pretense, face a painful reality, mm. a vice of constructive criticisms are not a personal attack. Mm -hmm. Drop the mask, reveal your true self, you are not alone, beautiful. Forgive others for wearing their mask. Wow. Beautiful message. Definitely play this back to hear what this card represents, but is exactly what I was mentioning for my own interpretation. But you can interpret this however you want. Beautiful message. Okay, let's go ahead to the next one. The next element is earth, exactly um, what I mentioned before. I'm going to go ahead and read what that card says. Mm -hmm. This is, the um, I think it's the five of, of earth. Oh no, it's the fourth of earth. Okay. So this card is representing commitment, mm -hmm. stability, real ability, steady progress, endurance, perseverance, and stockism. I'm about to look up to see what that means. And key words for that is slow and steady. Exactly what I was saying. Slow and steady progress. Taking one step at a time. Fear and doubt. Slow forward momentum. Uh huh. Do not falter. Rest and recharge. A good outcome ahead. Do not make hasty decisions. And watch for careless errors. Wow, collective. I didn't do too bad with interpreting my cards. <laughs> but you again interpret this card however you so be. Okay, for yourself. But exactly what I was saying, the main thing, slow and steady. When I saw that turtle, I just thought of taking one step at a time. You can't rush creation you can't rush you know the best thing that's being created for you that the universe is creating for you we can't rush that process mm -hmm. everything is a process so we have to really take our time with the process with the self-love journey that we're on we have to do it with love we have to do it with compassion. We have to do it with, again, love and having peace, being at peace mm -hmm. and patience. Okay. Having that patience. Mm -hmm. And it was the green card. So to me, that's representing the heart chakra and, um, Wow. And this one here is all in blue and white. So the crown and the throat chakra. When it's talked about criticism and it's not always an attack on you, that definitely, um, I'm sure people can relate to hearing that. Um, it really takes a strong person to accept criticism and grow from it and be the problem solver when you do receive constructional criticism. I feel that the I feel that God always 
it's given us constructional criticism. It's, it doesn't even just have to be from people here on the 3D. Spiritually, he's always redirecting us, guiding us, correcting us. And it's up to us to open up our heart to accept that constructional criticism and to follow, to be humble, to listen, to be guided in hope and faith with his constructional criticism. Mm -hmm. So that was the earth, the air and earth. <clears throat> with this card here, you see the lady, she's nurturing animals, but as well as this whole basket of fruit here. And again, I was showing you the bunny and that usually represents, you know, um, love and abundance. Mm -hmm. And the fruits that look so ripe, the grapes, oranges, pumpkins there. Trying to see what other fruits are there. Apples, so knowledge. Mm -hmm. Grapes represent abundance. Apples, knowledge. Pumpkins, protection. Hmm. So it says here, abundance, consciousness, giving, receiving, energy, love, and appreciation. Mm -hmm. Abundance is a state of plenty. I just heard abundance is a state of mind. Hmm. Abundance is a feeling. Abundance surrounds you, collective. Have faith and conviction. Complete trust is required. Your rainy day is today. Determine your goals and reasons and set intentions. A state of commit contentment, not influenced by external factors. Wow. Definitely check my messages down below, my other video, what I meant to say. In regards to that, a state of contentment not influenced by external factors. Hmm. When you have that contentment within you, you're able to just, like I said, choose your battles. Where your energy is going to, what your, your mind is going to go to, your heart's going to go to. Contentment within you to say you're not ignoring because you see it, it's showing itself, but you know why you're seeing it and it's showing itself because you're content, you're at peace with yourself, you're focusing on yourself and, of, and on your abundance, you're focusing on your self love, caring for yourself. And for your love to go out and pour out into things that, you know, you'll receive in return. And you're just pouring it out to person, places, and things that, that deserves your love and your energy and attentions. It's like you knowing where to direct your energy to. You became more intelligent, more smarter using your discernment and energy wisely. You're not ignoring what's happening to you. You're not ignoring what's surrounding you. You're not ignoring the energies that come at you. You're just realizing that you're not going to be a victim or you're not going to be <laughs> wasting your time pretty much. Pouring your energy into those energies any longer. You're content, collective, or you're finding contentment. Mm -hmm. You're not being no longer influenced by external factors of any kind. That really takes a disciplined person, mind, body, spirit, and soul. 
Relax and enjoy yourself. Exactly. Put your energy into enjoying yourself, your company. Mm -hmm. Generosity ripples outwards. Wow. Generosity ripples outwards. It's like mm -hmm. when you're showing kindness. It's like very contagious is what that's saying. You're spreading your kindness to everyone, everything, every person that you deem to, re to receive your kindness. And it's a ripple effect. Wow. The more you give, the more you receive. Appreciate and be grateful. Beautiful. That is so true. The more you give, the more you receive. That is so true. The more kindness you give, the more you'll receive in return. And you're just smiling, sharing a smile to anybody and to everyone. And it's so contagious. When you smile, others can't help but to smile back at you. It just depends on their energy and spirit that day that they hold that's with inside them and you see the spirit guide or entity behind her protecting her very fierce to her it probably will turn into a bunny but in other energies or other people's eyes this kind hearted nice individual male or female that is taking care of the earth and themselves Anything or anyone that comes towards this kind person that they're spreading and showing, they are protected by angelic realms, angelic beings. And the entity that is maybe her vengeance angel, <laughs> it shows like this in other people's presence. Maybe not to her, but to other people, it will show this presence and fierceness to tell energies and entities and just anything that comes against this person to step back, back off, or else. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful, beautiful cards. Wow. Beautiful message, collective, I'm telling you. Mm, mm, mm. Abundance. Abundance awaits. Abundance awaits. I'm going to go ahead and pull from my oracle. Let's go ahead and see. Wow. Now this came upside down. Bone collectors. And if I was to turn it upright, and it is showing a bunny, and it is showing a... Um, a uh, peacock feather that usually shows protection. It says number one. And it looks like they are either making some type of noise or they're singing, but it's like vibrating around this person here. It's showing numbers. Looks like a clock. Hmm. It's showing 12. As well as the time, 2.50. Hmm. Maybe this person, it came upside down. Maybe this person does things around that time, 2.50. Or 12 o'clock. Mm -hmm. Shows a lot of stuff here. And it came upside down. Spirit realms is still watching, no matter what's going on, whether the intentions are good or bad, the spirit realms are watching. And this looks like this is done in um, out in the country, like desert land. Mm -hmm. I see a cage here, but it's empty. I see a bird flying in the sky. It's Sean number one. A lot of symbolism here. They're literally sitting on that on that star. 
symbol. I don't know if it's upside down or what. I'm also seeing bunny, another bunny here. We're going to see what this what this reads in a bit, but it's saying number one. It's showing number one here. This is the beginning or ending pretty much because it showed upside down. So I'm going to go ahead and keep that. Mm -hmm. Rescue. Beautiful. Looks like a woman's under a, a waterfall. A sea up above. It's like she lives in that beautiful cave uh -huh. type of um, yeah type of life here. If she's standing literally on a waterfall, to me, water is representing um, being cleansed, washed clean. I see smoke from the chimney, but it looks like a rainbow. Mm -hmm. So Astro Realms, again, is always watching. This energy or this this person or or many people are just being protected by the astral realms or they are just watching. I've seen a lot of rainbows here. Mm -hmm. Not just the astral realms are watching, but whoever else on the outskirts in the air balloon is also watching. That could represent an ancestor or just out side um outside influences just watching mm -hmm. she looked and fell at peace looks like she's wanting to be rescued and this person's coming to rescue her looking out to see where she's at and coming to rescue her that could be Symbolic for, again, ancestors, the spirit realms coming to rescue her on a 5D that has descended on a 3D to rescue her. Mm -hmm. This can interpret so many ways. Again, look at these cards yourself to interpret. I will read the book in a bit. Just want to pick another card. Well, this was upside down. Solitude. Hmm. Very foggy. Let me go ahead and take a sip of my coffee. Hmm. Looks very um, foggy and daunting. It says solitude. Maybe collective. At some point or just at times, you may feel like this. Interpret the card however you want. But it was upside down, so it's no longer being in this type of solitude looking like that. It was upside down. 13 was the number. On my other card, it was 16. Mm -hmm. So that was 7 on a rescue one. Four on this one as well. You could be seeing these synchronicity numbers. Okay, I will read that in a bit. So the first one I picked, it was upside down. Mm -hmm. It was reverse. Okay. This is the bone collector. It says you are whole and have everything you need within. When it's reversed, it says the past has a way of repeating itself when you haven't learned the lesson of original situation. You're faced with this now. The bone collector challenges you to see yourself as a whole being and not just one who is potentially trying to heal an old wound. You'll repeat the past if you don't reclaim the things you believe were lost. 
Mm. The information you seek lies in your history. Familiarity, familiar, familiarity. I don't know if I'm saying this word right. In this case, isn't an invitation to dance the old dance once again. It is a call to retreat and choose differently. Wow. To retreat and choose differently. The bone collector has a message. If you do want, if you do what you did, you'll get what you got. I'm going to repeat that again. If you do what you did, you'll get what you got. Her warning is delivered with kindness, for she has deep love and respect for you. She will protect you. And that was reversed. Wow. So, what I'm getting out of this again is what I was saying with my other previous deck. Mm hmm. The time clock. And it shows protection with um, the peacock feather. So this is like an ancestor. It says here that she has deep love and respect for you. And she will protect you. But we have to choose our fate. We have to choose our path. We have to choose again how we're going to move forward from this point on with our lives with setting intentions and just taking action with those intentions and moving forward not repeating what we just recently got out of or just repeating the past Easy said and done. But she said here, this card sends healing as well. And protection. But we have to do things differently. Moving forward, collective. This is a deep, deep message. My gosh. All right. So <clears throat> the next one that showed was rescue. And this was upright. Okay. Again, you could be seeing um, synchronicities of one. Mm -hmm. okay. This is the number 16. So you could be seeing seven or 16 as synchronicities. It says here, you are always safe and secure and free to be yourself. Beautiful. Definitely, um, this card is showing a woman. She feels like she's just herself. She's in her element. She's authentically standing and waiting, but she's living like off-grid type of, of way. She's living off-grid in a different way. That's what this is showing to me. Mm -hmm. She looks like She's being saved or she just, this energy feels like she's just standing in her authenticity wherever she's at or he's at. Excuse me. So it says here, this was upright. It says, asking for help isn't easy for many successful people. <laughs> However, that's what you need to do now as you expand your life. Mm. If you find yourself trouble, you can expect help with whatever issues is at hand now. You need only to ask and assistance will come your way. Beautiful. The most important support, the most important support you can expect is from spirit. Didn't I say like this card kind of represented like angelic rescue 
that's coming to help this person. Take this message as it resonates. Mm -hmm. Get into a right relationship with the divine. And you'll see that many conditions line up as it by magic to provide you with all the help you need. I'm going to read that again. Get into a right relationship with the divine and you'll see that many conditions line up as if by magic to provide you with all the help you need. My gosh, so true. Ask and you'll receive. There is no need to fear. Safety is a place within. Beautiful. Ask and you shall receive collective. Spiritual Realms is here to help me, to help you. This is a collective reading. I can relate to this message for sure. Mm -hmm. Definitely give me a thumbs up. Hit that notification bell. If you're enjoying these vibes, claim this message. Rescue is on the way. Yes, collective. Spiritual angelic presence is here to help us. We have to ask mm -hmm. in order to receive. We have to be patient and be at peace and contentment to know that is coming. Collective, easy said than done. But I've been a witness to experience so many magical things that occurred with me in my time of rescue. So many times in my life, so many things, I'm telling you. And we forget because we receive that help. We forget. But once we get into another situation where we need rescue, you know, it does come back. You know, it does come back to reflect on us to say, you know, he has helped me before. My father has helped me before. And everything is going to work out for my good. But we have to ask for their help. Mm -hmm. And just have faith and hope, but definitely ask. Take action. Make that effort in asking for assistance, guidance from the spiritual realms. They're coming, collective, to your rescue. I don't know who need to hear that. I'm claiming this message. Yes, they are coming to your rescue. Mm -mm -mm. Beautiful. Um, the other card was in <clears throat> reverse. Solitude. And it was upside down. 13, you could be saying that number in synchronicities. Or the number four. When it's in reverse, it says, I am comfortable in my own skin as I detach to replenish my soul. I do see a lot of water, mm -hmm. a lot of water surrounding this house and where it's at. Again, this looks like this is mm -hmm. out in a no man's land. Like It just looks so like nomad type of energy what it's showing this person's living and being there themselves in their solitude mm -hmm. surrounded in water definitely a lot of emotions and water here energy wise It says, too much solitude results in isolation and separation. Now is the moment to get together with friends and join in the merriment. Hiding out will lead to loneliness and negative thinking. Mm -hmm. Separation at this time isn't a healthy choice. Wow. Are you in a situation in which you feel alone? You need to share this, not keep it to yourself. 
By joining in with others, you'll hear what you need to know because spirit finds ways to speak through them without their even knowing it. You have the key to let yourself out of this prison. You are loved and never alone. You are loved and never alone. It's my second time hearing that. You are never alone. It was from the one of the other cards from the tarot deck I read the first one. Wow. I believe it was from this card here that was expressing that you're not alone. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. So this is encouragement for me, <laughs> as well as for the collective to get out there responsibly, in moderation, get out there to smell the fresh air and just get out there to explore, to experience. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, beautiful message. I'm going to go ahead and tap into the gateway. So we're going to do some activation. Go ahead and pull from the top. I'll probably pull one or two cards from here. Wow. So this came upside down. And this looks like the Shambhala intentions. Retreating to recharge, trusting in the process, and Dharma. Okay. Beautiful city of gold. So this is my second time hearing, maybe third, and reading these cards in regards to retreating and recharging our energy, our batteries. Sorry about that again. When you're resting, you're needing to retreat and recharge. But at the same time, when you are saying your prayers or meditating or just thinking, mm -hmm, we have to trust the process. You know, I've said that before, trusting in the process, taking one step at a time, knowing that you're going to receive good dharma. Look at that. The vibration of that golden city is so high, so beautiful. Look at the sky, the pink and purplish starlight. It's shining so bright. That's of the heart and of the crown chakra. That gold, that city of gold within our solar plexus and sacral chakra. Beautiful. Shambhala intations. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and read what that means in a bit. Go ahead and pick one more card. Okay. Wow. Angelic frequency. Angels are here. You are safe. My gosh. Potent connections collective I don't know possibly we are feeling like you know if this is not how you're feeling like I said take this mess message if it resonates okay but let it be of healing possibly you're, you're not feeling safe <clears throat> at times or just during situations but this message is to help you and to tell you confirmation like three four times that you are protected you are safe and angelic presence and realms are surrounding you at this time of high frequency potent connection we, ha we have to connect to receive that protection but they are surrounding my collective they are surrounding me angelic frequency play that music like something i have here in the background play some frequency music to help you 
feel safe. This is reminding me, reminding me and reminding you that you are safe. Mm. They are here. Angelic presents are here. This is a beautiful card. My gosh. Doesn't this bring like a comfort and calm to your energy, this message? Again, it's in the galaxy. Look at that, the stars. There's a star up above the crown. Just a lot of symbolism. This is the frequency. It's so potent. It's saying it right there. Potent connection. They're here, collective, to protect you from the exterior, external forces out there. They're here to protect you and guide you. We have to connect, of course. But it's to remind you, you are safe. Wow. I'm going to go ahead and read to give you some information, but also to activate your energy. So stick around. Okay, collective. So this card here. <clears throat> beautiful. Let me go and use my other hand. It says, when things quieten down in your life, know that this isn't a familiar, but an opportunity to retreat and recharge. Mm -hmm. In the busiest and physical world, our spirit is often playing catch up. Yes, it is. With our bodies to the point that it gets used to being overactive and overworked. Mm -hmm. When the great masters of Shambhala come to you, and this is of Hindu, mm -hmm. Hinduism, it says here, they are encouraging you to take time to be away from the outer world and dive into the inner world. So meditation, mm -hmm. If you have been moving full speed ahead, this gateway encourages you to slow down and retreat. Take time to gather your energy, speed, spend time in meditation, reflection, in order to gain a clear awareness of your current situations. Beautiful. You will uncover many insights and gifts during this period, realize that there is a master awakening. Wow. Within you collective. Wow. Masters are coming out to assist my collective, to assist me. You are a special bunch. I'm telling you, if you have ascended masters by your side, you are somebody so special on this earth. So, in order for us to connect with Ascendant Masters, we have to retreat, recharge, meditate, go within. This is activation for you to go within. Retreat and recharge your batteries. Retreat and recharge your physical being to recharge and feed our souls mind, body, and spirit. Okay, so this is the activation for you to do so. Beautiful. And that's activating this here is showing activation for, let's see what chakras, for your, your root chakra from the mountains there, your solar and sacral, your heart and your crown. Beautiful. Activation for your uh, your chakras. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and read the angelic frequency. And that is a beautiful card. I'm looking for it right now in my book here. 
I did have it and now I have to find it again. But this is just a beautiful message as well as a card to end. If you have stuck around this long, I appreciate it. And I hope that this message continues to um, activate you and uplift you, heal you in many ways. It says here, again, angels are here. You are safe with its potent connection. This is a high frequency angelic presence surrounding me, surrounding my collective. Beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and read what that's about. Hmm. What we was talking about with the connecting, it says, visualize yourself surrounded by a golden light. To attract this angelic kingdom into your world, silently say, thank you, angels, for reminding me of your presence. This is affirmation you can say to yourself. It feels so good to know you are here and welcome their light. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. It says angels are drawn to drawn close at this time. So be open to signs and synchronicities that confirm this. It's important for you to know that though your action choices and services, you have upgrade your spiritual connection and your frequency collective. Nice. So rejoice. You may be, um, I don't know. Are you, are you getting the, um, whistling or squeaking sound in your ear it's like very soft not too loud mm -hmm. you're awakening your your energy and your frequency collective if that's occurring definitely they are around they're listening mm -hmm. your third eye if you feel that tangling that's awakening and opening don't force any of this to occur it will just come naturally when you connect and tap into your inner self, connect with the spirit realms. It will happen naturally, so don't force it. Okay. Rejoice, for you may be rewarded with abundance wow. and blessings at this time. And you have been making choices that are not just for your own greater good but for those of all around you. My messages that I send to you collective when I feel led to share, just how I'm feeling is from a heart space. And again, it's sending you healing and protection. And this is just confirmation. If you needed to hear, this is just confirmation. Everything that you're doing and it's of your highest good, if you're sharing it with people, you're sharing it with the collective, you're sharing it to heal people. <laughs> I'm telling you, you're going to be rewarded by the higher realms. Mm -hmm. It says your guardian angel is with you now. I spoke of that in my previous message. Helping you remember your infinite power and potential. Reach for the stars and trust that all efforts you have been making, both internally and externally, will bring blessings and opportunities. The path you are on is aligned to your highest good. My gosh. And the support you need is there for you. You are cherished by the angels. Wow, wow, collective. I'm going to end the message here. This is Rastagal, aka Angelic Empress. Till next time, take care, retreat, and recharge your energy. And remember that you are loved and protected. Till next time, peace.